Okay, day 51 solution, and I've got my solution from day 45 here ready to go. I need to add that auto save and auto load to it. So, what can we do? Well, the first job is at the bottom of the while true loop, we're going to add the auto save code. At the moment, we need to write the saving code, run it at least once, and then write the loading code. So, we wanted, we were going to call it what? Okay, I'm going to call mine 2.do because why not? I'm going to open it in W mode, which wipes out the contents of it before. F dot write the string version of the list. So what's my list called? It's called to do. And then F dot close to save it. Let's bring the files up and check that's actually going to work. Run it. Add to my to do's. Call my nan. Oop. When? Tomorrow. Priority, hi. File got created, let's have a look what's in there. Oh look, it's the code from the array, brilliant. Now that'll keep adding to it as we go, but I need to do my auto load code here because if I start it and run it again, it'll wipe that out completely. So F equals open. We put this directly under the square, under the bit where we initialize the list, where we say this is a blank list because if we don't want it to be a blank list, we need to load it from somewhere. Um, I'm going to open 2.do in read mode. I'm going to do to do equals eval f.read. Read everything in and evaluate it, turn it into working code. So I'll close it then to save space and allow me to open it to write later on. So if I stop it now and run it, I should be able to view and I should see stuff in there. Oh, it works! My to-do list manager is now useful because it actually saves my to-dos. Revolutionary!